this video, I'm going to show you how to sync eSword to Google Drive, put it up in the cloud. Now, when I say sync to the cloud, it just means your study notes, your topic notes, and your journal notes. Whatever devices you want to use eSword on, you need to have eSword installed on it. Whatever devices you want to be able to use the sync function, you're going to need Google Drive installed on that device as well. To get Google Drive, you just type in the search bar, Google Drive Download. And it'd be the first link there. Scroll down, find the four in individuals, click Download, run the application, go through the setup. Once the setup's complete, you will open up your file explorer. You'll see it right here in your sidebar, okay? So once that is done, it, and you have eSword installed, you have eSword installed, you have Google Drive installed. Now what you want to do is you want to open up Google Drive. You want to create you a folder called eSword. You'll notice I already got one. I've already put my stuff in there. Now, if you already have topic notes and study notes, journal notes, things of that nature, you will need to put them into your new eSword folder on OneDrive in order to access it. And where can you find those topic notes and study notes? On the typical installation, you will find them in your documents folder in an eSword folder. So go here, you go to documents, go to eSword, you find your bookmarks, your journal, your study notes, your topic notes. Just copy all those files into Google Drive's new eSword folder. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a eSword 2 folder because I already got one for my current uh, notes and stuff. So, I'm just, just to show you how to do it, a new folder, eSword. We'll call this eSword 2. So, we're going to go to Documents, eSword. We're just going to grab all this. And we're going to put it in here. And now, once that's done, you go to Options in eSword, go to Resource Settings, and you change your user location, user files location. Open that up, find uh, Google Drive. Where is it at? Let's see here. It's somewhere here. Let's find it. Okay, I got it in my libraries, I know. Okay, there we go. So find Google Drive and open it up. Find your eSword folder. And click OK. You have to restart eSword to make sure it gets a new location. <clears throat> And you notice, with this new location, I still have my study notes, my topic notes, my journal notes. Now I can, from any other computer, did I have this set up the exact same way? You have to do the exact same thing on each device, your iPad, your other computer. Uh, you need to change the options, resource settings, location, user, resource location to your Google Drive, and then it will start opening and closing and saving those notes all to Google Drive instead of on your PC. And that is really all there is to it. I'm going to recommend just a little quick tip that you go to biblesupport.com, if you have not already, and download the installer that they offer for free. And it would be the eSword module installer. The reason why I recommend that just quickly is, is because if you just run the .exe file for various modules, eSword has a habit of putting it in all different places. Sometimes it will go in your eSword folder. Sometimes it will go into your app data folder that's hidden. And it just, you know, sticks stuff here and there and you can't find it later. It makes it hard to find it. 
if you get the installer, it's going to stick everything in your eSorts folder when it when it unpacks and your new modules. So you'll have them all in the same place. So if this helped you, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and help help this channel grow and refer it to somebody. Thank you. You have a good day.